In the Euro-Asia division, the Adventist Church is using media to preach the gospel. The COVID-19 pandemic forced the church to find new and innovative ways to accomplish mission. Due to a pandemic lockdown, the division began to use modern IT to preach the gospel. Every pastor is now able to address church members via the internet. In 2021 and 2022, two international Bible conferences were held online with the support of the General Conference's Biblical Research Institute. Through the use of modern technology, over 1,500 pastors, elders and community leaders were able to attend each of these video conferences. The division's church administrator training also took place for the first time online because of COVID-19 in 2021. This training covered various aspects of strategic thinking and planning to proclaim the third angel's message by the power of the Holy Spirit and to complete the gospel work and achieving the goals of the world church plan, I will go. Innovation and unity is at the heart of the development of a new 2020-2025 strategy called Let's Go Together. The strategy assumes that the local community is at the center of church life and includes four objectives. To create an atmosphere for spiritual growth, to fill the church with young people, to involve members of the church in evangelistic and social service, and to hold inspiring worship services. Today, mission is unthinkable without the use of modern technology, radio, television, and the internet. The past two years have been filled with major online evangelism events with the participation of prominent preachers. And these efforts are bearing fruit. The number of social media subscribers to our missionary initiatives is growing rapidly, as well as the number of students in our online Bible school. Thanks to the support of the Adventist World Radio, the small country of Moldova is 80% covered by the Adventist message. In the countries of Central Asia, radio programs in local languages are being broadcast every day. Sponsored by Hope Channel International in Russia, the Nadezhda TV channel has been broadcasting 24 hours a day for more than seven years. And in Ukraine, the Nadia TV channel became the number one Christian channel in the country. Almost half a million people watch the programs on the Nadia TV channel every month since the start of the pandemic, which is twice as many as before COVID-19. Pastors involved in the Revelation of Hope Evangelism program also held well-attended online meetings in various social media platforms.